And then um, I'm going to wait one more minute. Oh, that looks spooky. Ooh, it's Halloween. I'm going to let it go one more minute and then we'll get started. There was a couple of people that said they were going to try to join, but life happens between, you know, morning and evening. Mm -hmm. So how are you doing, Miss Pauline? Good. Good. You've had... A ton of visitors. It's been crazy, but my I just found out my son and his wife and new baby are coming to visit on Yay. Remembrance Day. So I'll be cool. Yay. Yeah. What a yeah. he's a cutie. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh he's, he's had a rough start. Issues. Got some issues, but you know, we'll oh. figure that out as we go. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a rough start for a little guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, it is 7.05, so I am going to get going. And first of all, I want to welcome everybody who joined for All Things Thieves tonight. Um, really appreciate you coming, and I hope that you'll get a lot of good information out of this. I am recording it, so I will post it in the Facebook group. Uh, I'll have to post it somewhere. I don't know if I can post it in the Facebook group because the videos are pretty lo uh, long, but I'll figure something out and let everybody know where the video is. And um, this presentation is all about the thieves line of cleaners and other products that Young Living has. And um, it's something that I have spent the last kind of year and a half switching out slowly everything in my house to these things um, so that A, it doesn't cost me any more money and B, I know that I'm making some progress on getting the kind of more toxic things out of my house. So welcome everybody. Um, and as I was saying, you're gonna be able to see all of my notes, which will be kind of good because you can go back and look at them later if you want. Um, but we know how this whole pandemic thing has really gotten everybody uber concerned about their health and wellness and um, how to keep things clean. And we've all been hand sanitized to death and I'm not sure how many people have lost skin off their hands from the awesome um, stuff that you get at like Superstore. But um, this line of products is really going to help you um, keep your house clean, keep your hands clean um, and do that without kind of some of the harmful side effects. Uh, because a lot of products out there are advertised as safe and all natural, but labeling um, rules are pretty sketchy in some places. Um, and so the more you look into this stuff, the more you find out that um, what might be called safe and all natural may actually not be that good for you. And um, the American Lung Association actually um, has a comment on uh, like has a page on how many common household heating, uh, cleaning products actually lead to health problems like eye and throat irritation, headaches, respiratory issues, allergic reactions, worsened asthma. Now, this is a big one I've noticed a lot and possibly even um, cancer and hormone disruption. So we don't want that in our houses. We don't want that one around our loved ones. And we certainly don't want that around our children and our grandchildren. So this class is just talking about this line of products to show you the difference between how Young Living puts their cleaning products together um, compared to other cleaning products. But um, let's take a minute to talk about the people who are on the Zoom and maybe you could just um, say something about, like say your name and say something about yourself, what interests you about this class. Either one of you could go. Right. Oh, I'm Pauline Bernard and um, fairly new to the oils, but I do have the Thieves oil that I run in my house all the time. Mm. And I love the smell. Yeah. <clears throat> and I was quite sick with pneumonia a while back and a friend of mine brought over some Thieves oil for my diffuser back then. Oh. And uh, you would know her, Chris, and uh, that's Good. where my interest lies from then. Nice. Yeah, yeah, pneumonia um, is a is a hard one. Mm -hmm. Everything exacerbates your lungs if you're not careful. Paula, what about you? Um, someone introduced me to the Thieves Cleaner, and I really love the smell and just how clean it made everything. 
And then you gave me a vial of the cinnamon bark. Oh, yeah. And I love that. Oh, yeah. And that hooked me even more. And then just kind of took off from there. And I'm interested to know about other other products in the Thieves line. Mm -hmm. And I'm Paul. Well, what I really like about this is that um, the cleaner and the laundry detergent and the dish soap, the things that you use a lot of are like super concentrated. So you're not paying to get um, somebody else's water mixed in with the cleaner. You add your own. Um, I initially bought one of the big 64 ounce bottles of cleaner and it lasted me 15 months. So um, it, it, it may, some people um, ask me why it's expensive and I say, well, it's not really because it lasts so long that it actually ends up being about a dollar per mix up of like every 16 ounces and you get many of them because you only use a capful in 16 ounces. But um, I, I got into this um, and have used this all around uh, my puppies last January when we had puppies, this is what I use to clean the house because a lot of cleaning products are really bad for the neurological development of puppies. And my other thing is I absolutely adore the hand sanitizer because my hands break out terribly with the commercial stuff you get, you know, in various places and get really sore and actually break open, which is worse. And I have never had that happen with the thieves hand sanitizer. So We'll talk about why that is, why I found out why that is um, in a little while. The hand sanitizer is great. It is. It's just yeah. lovely. It's really great. And also the fruit, the fruit spray. Yeah. It's yeah. Really that's great. really, yeah. We're going to talk about that too. So there's I, a bunch of, sorry. I was going to say also my cat likes the smell of the thieves cleaner. Oh, that's good. Yeah, but I think it's because it's natural. It's yeah. not a chemical smell. Yeah. And I think yeah. she knows that. Maybe. Like the safety of it, like around the puppies. Yeah, because most animals, when you're using something that they don't like the smell of, will leave. Like that's exactly. that they will just leave the room. But um, she seeks it out. Well, there you go. Cool. Yeah. So there's some ingredients that you are going to find in various household products. Um, and so when you're, you know, if you're, grabbing something off of the shelf at Superstore, um, there's very good chance that some of these products are going to be in them. And so um, not even like even some of the green ones, the so-called green uh, cleaners in the stores do contain some of these things. So we're going to just do take a minute and talk about them. So formaldehyde, a lot of us know that it is a preservative, uh, but it's often seen in things like lotions and horrifically baby wipes. Um, so it is a known carcinogen and can cause respiratory irritation. So it's a big one to kind of just try to avoid completely. Um, phthalates are uh, also found in some personal care products, uh, many plastics and vinyls as well. These ones are dangerous because they can affect our endocrine system, our reproductive health, and even cause um, some forms of can potentially cause cancer. They have what's called volatile organic compounds that are gases that emit from them and into the air. So that new car smell or that new carpet smell, those are volatile uh, organic compounds. Um, and they're really not good for you to drink, uh, to smell. Uh, it's really quite terrible. And because breathing them can also cause throat irritation and difficulty breathing and nausea. Prolonged exposure can cause damage to your central nervous system and some VOCs have been shown to cause cancer. So just avoiding them um, in general is probably really good. Now, the interesting thing is essential oils are volatile organic compounds, but they're a different class of volatile organic compounds. Um, so then we have the laurel sulfates and the laureth sulfate. These things are everywhere because they're emulsifiers and they keep, they keep things uh, mixed together, products combined together, and they cause lather. So if you get something that's really gets a lot of lather, it's got this in it probably. Um, sulfates or sul uh, sul laurel sulfate or laureth sulfate. Um, it's in laundry detergents, spray cleaners, dishwasher detergents, 
Um, and um, most often they're synthetically derived and then they have the um, ability to cause significant skin irritation. Then there are a class of products called ethanol ethanolamines, ethanolamines, not sure where to put the emphasis, um, but they are also um, found in many uh, household, personal care and household products. They have been um, linked to uh, organ to uh, system toxicity um, when you are in contact with them for a long time. And um, uh, with a bioaccumulation, they can cause cancer. Now, when you're saying that you have to be exposed to them for a long time, you may not, um, in, in a day when you're doing your housework, be exposed for a long time, but over the course of your life, you know, if you have several days a month where you're using them, um, these things can um, uh, accumulate in your system. So then there's triclosan, which is one of the main ingredients in antibacterial soaps, hand sanitizers, detergents, scarily toothpaste, deodorants, cosmetics, and plastics. This stuff um, affects your thyroid system and your other endocrine organs and was recently banned by the FDA to be used in antiseptic cleaner. Now, fragrance is on here and I don't have a note on it, but I'll tell you about fragrance. There is no legal requirement in Canada or the United States to explain what chemicals are in fragrance. You can just say fragrance and that's that. You do not, they do not, the companies do not have to detail what chemicals they have used in what they call fragrance. So you don't know. So you won't find any of these products in any of the, in any Young Living product. None of these chemicals are in any of the Thieves line or any um, Young Living product. And here's my note about fragrance. So, um, Fragrance is considered a trade secret. That's why they don't have to disclose it. And so these, these chemicals could be linked to all kinds of things and we would never know it. So these are just a few of the things that we want to avoid. I haven't talked about bleach um, because that's chlorine. Um, but I think, we, I think we all know um, that exposure to bleach, especially the inhalation of bleach is not a good thing. Um, I know for um, when I have my puppies, I can't have bleach anywhere around because it significantly impacts their neurological development if they smell bleach. So you don't use that for sterilizing any of the rooms. So if it's bad for puppies, I think it's bad for babies and I think it's bad for humans. And I know that places like hospitals and that have gone away from using bleach for these very reasons. So there are none of these products in, in any of the Thieves line. And so you're purchasing a product that is actually safe. You can use it around your babies um, and you can use it around yourself when you have lung problem like asthma or whatever um, and you're not going to have um, that significant a reaction. Some people may have a reaction based on how severe their compromised lungs are but you can dilute um, these and all of these all of the fragrances but all of the smell in thieves comes from essential oils so right from plant-based material and they come right to your door. So one of the things that I, that got me very um, much in love with Young Living is their seed to seal quality commitment. I've watched several videos and talked to many people about um, what seed to seal means at Young Living. And it means that they control the production process from the time the plant is a seed going into the earth all the way through the um, harvesting, the um, distillation, the testing and the, and the packaging. So they, they control the entire chain of life there for those plants. And they um, have a high, high level of quality control on each part. They don't weed with pesticides and herbicides. They hand weed. They um, have significant composting on all of the farms. If they don't own the farm corporately, the uh, partner farms have the same um, requirements to do this. So it's one of the reasons why I really trust and believe in this company is because of the massive um, 
emphasis put on sustainability and farming practices, which to me, when I buy my meat from a farmer locally, I know that that farmer has cared for um, the product that they're selling. And so this is, this is my, um, this is my uh, connection to seed to seal at the end of the ring. So all of the thieves products care, uh, have the proprietary thieves essential oil blend in them. And it's a combination of clove and cinnamon bark. Eucalyptus radiata, which is, there's four kinds of eucalyptus and radiata is kind of the mid range in terms of strength. Rosemary oil and lemon oil. And interestingly enough, the, the, the name thieves comes from a legend from the 14th, 15th century of some thieves who had formulated um, uh, a blend of herbs and vinegars to uh, put in their masks during the plague because they were grave robbers. And so they would put this in there because they believed that the plague was caused by what's called a miasma, and uh, which is like gas in the air. And so they believed that if they had this oil combination that they were breathing in, the miasma of the plague would not affect them. Now we know many centuries later that that's not what caused the plague and that fleas off of rats caused the plague. But interestingly enough, this combination of oils is also a flea repellent. So inadvertently, they help themselves keep away from the thing that caused the plague, thinking it was something else, which is very cool. So these guys were caught stealing stuff off the dead bodies. And the King of France at the time um, said, made a deal with them that if they gave him the recipe for their uh, thieves, their um, vinegar herb concoction, that he wouldn't have them put to death. So they, they ended up surviving their, uh, um, their ordeal and their uh, imprisonment because they of this oil. So uh, luckily this also has incredible cleaning capacity and all of the uh, oils that are in um, Young Living are, anti, are either antibacterial, antifungal um, and just amazingly, um, smells amazingly good. So all of these things are backed by the seed to seal quality commitment. So you know that all of the oils that go into this are of the highest quality, um, as are the rest of the naturally derived ingredients. So you can go online and um, look up more about the seed to seal and watch some um, amazing videos on the on the farms that you that uh, talk about this. So I talked about zero use of pesticides. They use food grade distillers with the state of the art design distillation methods. They use low pressure and low temperature so that they get the most um, um, organic compounds out of the plant. Um, and they do not use solvents or synthetic chemicals in distillation. Um, so this is the difference between the, this oil company and other oil companies is that a lot of companies, it's much cheaper to use um, synthetic chemicals to extract the oils from uh, like solvents to extract the oils. Young Living does not do that. Um, and there are significant numbers of um, products at Young Living that are registered with Health Canada. The um, things like there's um, the plus line of oils with the white label um, are all um, able to be ingested. So you can drink them internally. Um, and things like the hand sanitizer is approved by uh, Health Canada as a hand sanitizer. So if you want to know more about Seed to Seal, just go to seedtoseal.com and it'll talk to you more about how Young Living ensures the quality and the um, start to finish um, quality control of all their products. Anybody have any questions about that? Awesome. Okay, so let's get into it. So Thieves Household Cleaner. One of the first things that I tried in the Thieves line and oh my God, is it ever amazing. So it is one of the most beloved products in the Thieves family. I use it to clean everything, honest to God, everything. Floors, windows, stainless steel. Um, I use it in my laundry if the laundry is really dirty and greasy. Um, it is amazing. So what makes it so special? 
So it is ultra concentrated plant-based cleaner. Um, like I said, that you can use on everything, wood and tile and uh, mirrors and carpets and furniture. Um, if, you're, if you're a little unsure about using it on something, just test it on a space that you're not gonna be able to see, just to make sure that, it, that it's okay with that particular material. It is super safe to use around your kids. Um, it, is, um, it contains no harsh or dangerous chemicals and there's no need to rinse after using it. It is safe for septic systems, which is important to me and safe for use around kids and pets. It, it has some naturally occurring surfactants derived from coconut and sugar. So you get a really, really good clean without the abrasive chemicals. It isn't a huge foamer. It doesn't get really foamy, but that's not what cleans anything. Suds don't clean. Um, so ultra concentrated, heck yeah. So one capful to two cups of water. So if you put that in that spray bottle that's in the picture, it costs you less than a dollar for that spray bottle full of cleaner. And I have one in each bathroom. I actually have some by some plants that have some bugs. So I have a plant cleaner uh, that I use uh, based on this. So the 14 ounce bottle of Thieves gets you 28, over 28 of these bottles of spray bottles with that dilution radio, ratio. So 28 of them. So just about, just under a dollar a bottle. The 64 ounce bottle, which is what I buy, gets 128 bottles. So you get, you're down to 70 cents a bottle. Super cheap, super safe and super clean. I don't know how you can, you know, it's, it's such a good, it's such a good deal. Um, there's a ton of, if you, if you like to have your cleaning stuff looking pretty, I, I don't care, but some people really like it. You can buy labels off of Etsy and um, really nice glass uh, spray bottles off of Amazon. And um, it's important to use uh, glass because especially with the lemon, citrus oils decompose um, plastic. They eat the petrochemicals in plastic. So you don't want to use, this is food grade plastic that the bottle comes in which is different than typically what you get in a spray bottle. So I just use glass. Oops. Um, yeah. Um, Oops. And they're super cheap on Amazon. You can buy okay. six of them for like $12. Um, and so if you've got stuff that's really super greasy, don't dilute the cleaner as much. I, I put a little bit in my dishwasher occasionally to wash the dishwasher. Um, and... Um, at the end of this um, uh, slide presentation, there are some bonus recipes for using your thieves cleaner. Any questions about the thieves cleaner? When you put it in the dishwasher, do you just put it in full concentrate? Yeah, I just take a cap full and I dump it in the dishwasher and then I do a, a cycle on empty and it just cleans and degreases the whole inside of the dishwasher. And it gets kind of gummy and yucky. You don't have to do it very often. I probably do it once a month just to make sure it's the dish, inside of the dishwasher is nice and clean. Would you do that for a wash machine as well, Glenn? Yeah, I would do that once in a while for a wash machine too. Okay. Yeah, I was um, all of my puppy la laundry got um, laundry soap and a cap full of thieves oil just because it would get really poopy and lots of urine, and I wanted the smell out, and um, it cleaned that linen. Ama amazingly well, amazingly well. I was so surprised. And then I don't have to worry about giving it back to the puppies after because there's no residue, no chemicals left in it. Okay, let's talk about the thieves in the kitchen. One of the great places to use thieves. So dish soap, interesting stuff. Contains no sulfites, no formaldehyde, no dyes, no phosphates, no synthetic perfume but it is wickedly good at grease cutting because of the lemon oil um, and everything is left really clean and sparkling. Um, it, uh, it is super easy to swap this out for your regular dish soap. And I actually um, dilute this in half. So I've got two bottles, two empty bottles, and I put half of the soap in, one, in each bottle and then top it with water. So you really, you're getting a ton of soap in that little bottle. So in 355 mils, you're getting almost 800 mils of actual usable um, detergent for your dishes. It's got jade lemon and bergamot in it, which, oh my God, 
bergamot is one of my ultimate new favorite things. And it has the thieves blend as well. So it's got the olive oils as the thieves, those nice spices and things, plus the bergamot and jade lemon, just for that extra grease cutting. Um, your but hands, sorry. Can you use that in the dishwasher? Yes, because it doesn't foam. Okay, sorry, because you could, uh, my, you know, my Wi Fi. Yep. Yes, you can use it in your dishwasher. You're frozen again. <laughs> poor God, poor Bala. So, when you use this, yep. I'm gonna, I've got some dish soap. Yep. Um, and I, I haven't used it yet. So, it's not going to foam or bubble when I do my dishes? Not really, no. It doesn't foam a lot at all. So, okay. it's, not a, it's not a default, it's not a defect. <laughs> It just, yeah. it's those, so the, the bubbles come from the addition of that so, sodium or that laurel sulfate and the laurel sulfite stuff. Mm -hmm. That's where the foam comes from. And it doesn't really do anything to clean your dishes. Um, but okay. yes, Paula, I use this in my dishwasher. This, the dish soap, she's, are you, yeah. Um, and I just put five squirts in the little compartment. Um, I use it, uh, uh, the, with the, when it's mixed with water, I don't just use it straight. You, you, if you have really hard water, you can add some citric acid powder to it as well in the rinse area. Um, but we don't have hard water here. We all have soft water, so you don't really need that. Um, yeah. Now, if you want some bubbles, some suds, you can you can divide this by three and add a um, teaspoon of baking soda uh, to the um, dish soap. So you have a third of it, a teaspoon of dish uh, baking so soda, and then fill it up with water. And that will get you a little more sudsy, a little more bubbly. It'll be a culture change for some of my family. <laughs> Oh, and don't go squirting like a huge ton of it in the, the, the water either. That's the other thing is that you don't need a huge amount of this. But I'm gonna tell you a hack here right now with this dish soap that I use, which is amazing. So I have one of those glass spray bottles. I put a cap full of concentrated cleaner. I put probably a quarter of a quarter of a cup now, probably an eighth of a cup of the dish soap in it. And then I fill it with water and I use it to kill bugs on plants. The plants love it. The soap covers the exoskeleton of the bugs and the cleaner kills them. Works like a hot damn. I had a friend who, who um, used it on her roses on her deck all, all summer, didn't get black spot because mm. it's an antifungal. Hmm. Yes, so it, it's amazing the kind of things. When you really start looking, there are millions of thieves hacks out there. You can use, literally use it for everything. All right, so um, that's the dish soap. Uh, here's the fruit and veggie soap. I was never really one to clean my vegetables, got to admit, um, didn't do a lot of that. But I use this now I, and I really, I really love it. Um, it has both of these things, the spray and the bottle. So the spray is little and the bottle is more concentrated. They have um, the same base formula, um, but the soap has a little bit um, uh, more oomph to it. And the spray is just a quick spritz before rinsing, right? Um, so you can use the spray when you're um, out and about. You got to you know, if you, if you haven't washed your, your apples before you take them in your lunch bag or whatever, you can spray it with this and then just wipe it off. Whereas the soak is an actual soak. So um, I find that things like strawberries from the store, if I've soaked them and then dried them in with, like if I soak them in the thieves um, veggie soak and then dried them, they last way longer than if I don't wash them at all. Way longer. They don't go moldy because it takes all of that surface mold off, even the microscopic stuff. So the soak has thieves in it. It has digize. So if you got a premium starter kit, you got a bottle of digize. It is super strong, licorice smelling. Takes it's hard for people to get used to sometimes, 
but it is amazing for upset stomachs. And it has purification essential oil, which mainly is lemongrass and tea tree. So those three kind of powerhouses, licorice and, and all of the spices from thieves and then lemongrass and tea tree really blast wax. Um, if, like, if you have oranges, those rinds have been coated in wax, apples, any kind of pesticides or anything. I even soak my potatoes before I peel them. Um, or if I'm going to use like make French fries and keep the peel on, I definitely soak them then. The spray has lime oil and thieves. So it, it's a little bit different. It's a little lighter, um, but um, it smells lovely because of the lime. So when you see what comes off of your vegetables, you will be amazed and wonder why you didn't do this before. So... I have a question because sure. my net froze again. Yep. Um, <clears throat> with the with the veggie soak. Yes. You use water as well. Yes. Yeah. You so you put you fill your sink with water and then you put the however much it says on there. I think it's like a capful in the water and then you just soak the veggies in for a few minutes and then rinse them and, and dry them. And then store them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But you will notice your soft fruits will last a lot longer. A lot longer. I have a friend who does every year she does um, a thieves challenge with her carved pumpkin. So she'll have two pumpkins, one that she washes inside and out with thieves cleaner and the other that she doesn't. The one that she doesn't molds and collapses weeks before the one that she cleans. It's amazing. Okay. So yeah. when you when you go to use that fruit, do you wash it again? No, it's, no. it's OK. It's fine. Yeah. Yep. And then like I've been using the little spray yep. and then just when I'm out, like if I yep. get an apple or something yep. and then, and then spray it and rinse it and then use it. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Now they, now the slides say that you can actually um, dilute this in three. I tried that. I didn't like it as much. I like it diluted in half. It's just a little more potent. Um, and I find it's a good enough value that I don't need to stretch it quite that much. Okay, so let's talk about the use in the laundry room. So you spend a lot of time doing laundry and um, you wear those clothes a lot. Now your skin is, yes, it's your biggest organ, but it also is one of the most porous <laughs> things that you own <laughs> and it absorbs a lot um, of, of chemicals every day whether they're good chemicals or bad chemicals so unfortunately the majority of laundry soaps and detergents are full of some nasty kinds of chemicals tons of fragrance um, um, and there's there's a whole list of things that they contain so not only do you breathe in those chemicals when you're doing your laundry but then you wear those clothes that have been washed in it. And oh my God, if you use dryer sheets and you're adding another whole layer of low toxic mode to your laundry and you're absorbing that through your skin. Um, and so even if you don't get contact dermatitis from things, you know, you're still absorbing all of that chemical because it, it's up against your skin all day. So why, why risk these things? Protect, you know, protect your family and your, yourselves as much as possible by making sure that whatever you're using um, is as safe as you can get it. So Thieves Laundry Soap, again, um, uh, created with essential oils for cleaning. It has citrus for the, for the scent in it. And I take this bottle, which is 946 milliliters, I put it in a big, um, it's like a continuous, like it's a punch jar with a spigot. And I add three bottles of water to it. So I dilute this uh, three to one. And I still find, A, it's super gentle on um, things with spandex in them. So anything that you've got that you've washed, you would normally wash on gentle, it's super, super gentle on that but it'll also really clean um, your yard clothes really well. And then, like I said, if I've got something that's got extra grease on it or something, I will 
add a small cap full of the concentrated cleaner to the laundry load as well. And that just takes everything out. Um, you can also use it as a spot cleaner. Um, if you've got like a, a, a grease mark on a shirt or something, you can just put it directly on the fabric and let it soak in and um, use it as a spot cleaner. And this one says to um, dilute, this hack says to dilute it by half and add three capfuls of household cleaner to it. Um, but I dilute it by three and just use the household cleaner as needed into the load itself. So it's, it's got, it's, it's super concentrated um, and you're not paying for water, which is the most expensive water you can get is when you're buying it as Tide or whatever. So they also have a whole line of Thieves toothpastes. So remember Tarclosan, we talked about that at the beginning. Well, it's a banned ingredient for things like antiseptic washes, but it can still be found in some toothpastes. So you put it in your mouth and it absorbs through your cheek into your body. It's just terrible. Um, your mouth is one of the quickest absorption places, as we know. Um, and so why would you want to have anything in there, even for a brief period of time, that is not good for your health? So there are a couple of varieties of toothpaste, um, Aroma Bright, there's a whitening, and there's a Dentarome. There's really good explanation. So Aroma Bright is a plaque reducing um, recipe. The whitening toothpaste is a whitening um, um, focus of toothpaste. Still works good on gums and, and um, plaque, but it's got a whitening component to it. Um, and then the Dentarome is, um, I believe, kind of um, uh, a tooth. Uh, I'm just trying to remember. I have. I, I'm using that right now. Um, more of a um, whole mouth kind of um, cleaner. Funnily enough, you can use Aroma Bright toothpaste and the Dentarome toothpaste as deodorant in a pinch. You take a small, it's like a, a take a little bit because it's full of um, cornstarch. Cornstarch is what helps clean your teeth. So it also helps um, absorb uh, odor. Let's see some whitening. So is it a deodorant or is it an antiperspirant? Because those are different. Not antiperspirant. Deodorant. Deodorant. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Antiperspirants tend to have aluminum in them to keep you from sweating, which is really not good for your lymphatic system. Okay. Um, so here's Roma Bright Healthy Teeth and Gums. Sorry, Pauline, did you have some? Oh, okay. Um, and Aroma Bright is, is like Sensodyne. It's the long, a gentle treatment for your tooth enamel um, and just gentler on your teeth. Okay. Thieves Homing Hand Soap. Lo oh my God, I love this. Um, it comes in this little foamer. So after you've used it, if you don't want to reorder um, the bigger um, uh, refillable bottle, uh, like to refill this, you can actually make your own with thieves oil and um, the dish soap and um, you can make your own thieves hand soap. But it has um, thieves uh, oil, the, all, the, all the oils in thieves, lemon and orange. Um, so it smells just glorious uh, when you're using it. And it's really not, not harsh on your skin because it doesn't have any petrochemicals in it. The thing that breaks down your skin so quickly in all of these soaps and uh, sanitizers is the petrochemicals and sulfates. It dries your skin out and the petrochemicals just literally eat my skin. This is, I've got this in the kitchen. I've got this in the bathrooms. I got this in the RV. I love Thieves hand soap. Then there's the hand spray and the hand sanitizer. Now the spray, you can, I, I have both of them in my purse. The spray I use on things like the shopping cart handles. Um, if um, I'm going somewhere and I have to touch something, I like to have the spray. And, and then it doesn't, if you're going to, like, especially with the shopping cart handles, you're going to have your hands on it the whole time. It's actually really safe. And, it, and if you can't find this hand sanitizer, you can use the spray on your hands. Um, 
and so um, there, uh, the mints, there's Thieves mints, um, which are really, really quite nice for freshening your breath, Thieves and peppermint oil, which would be amazing. Um, but the hand sanitizer, I'm wondering if I have another thing about the hand sanitizer, so let me just look. Okay, Thieves spray, um, no rinsing required after use, can use it on all kinds of surfaces, and it's safe to use around everybody. Um, you can use it to clean a surface like a counter if you're in a bathroom and you need to help change a baby. Um, if you've got if you've got family who are using the family uh, change rooms, you probably want to have some of that spray in your pocket to spray down that table because I don't know about you, but every time I walk into a commercial bathroom now, I get a headache because of the stuff that they're cleaning the bathrooms with. It's just so powerful. It just it makes me a little nauseous sometimes. So I would I just use this to kind of even get rid of the old cleaner. Um, hand sanitizer. This stuff is bloody amazing. It is um, approved by Health Canada to be labeled hand sanitizer. And the biggest difference in this is, well, so it's got aloe vera and vegetable glycerin to help keep your hands um, hydrated. But where it is most different from other kinds of hand sanitizers is that there's a, there's a, a thing called alcohol DNAT, which is the kind of um, uh, sanitizing element in hand sanitizers. Most hand sanitizers get their alcohol DNAT from petrochemicals. Thieves hand sanitizer gets their alcohol DNAT from peppermint oil. They take peppermint oil and whatever they do to it, they transform it from oil to this alcohol DNAT, and that is what's used in, san in the hand sanitizer. That's what kills the bacteria on your hands. I have never broken out from this, and I use it a lot. Um, and literally, I can break out within three hours of using some other stuff uh, in the stores. And I don't, want, I don't want skin open as I'm going around <laughs> these days either. So any questions on the, those three products? Cool. Okay, so here's some cool recipes. Um, and um, if you want, I can send you out uh, copies of these later, but they're all over, um, they'll be on the uh, Facebook page and stuff. So you can use it on glass and mirrors. You just add some lemon and some white vinegar with your thieves cleaner and a spray bottle. You will not get a streak. It is an amazing, amazing thing. Um, floor cleaner, same kind of recipe, household cleaner, lemon or citrus fresh for the, for the um, grease, the degreasing, and then some white vinegar. And then add it to a bucket and hot water and mop your floors. It's beautiful. I use it with my, um, I make up a bucket of this and I use it with my uh, Norwex floor cleaning pads. What a beautiful job. If you want to make your, oh, 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 sorry, yeah. you want to make some laundry whitener, sorry, Pauline? When you're talking about the floor cleaner, you use <clears throat> one to two capsules. Is it the diluted thieves size hope so cleaner or is it the that, rich? That's the, that's the concentrate. The concentrate. Okay. Anytime it's, anytime it says a capful, it means the concentrate. Okay. Yeah. You know, I've only ever just used the, the, the thieves and hot water. Yep. Yep. But the oil doesn't, the, the, the thing about just using thieves oil in water is it doesn't, it may not um, mix, like uh, mix enough. You know what I mean? Because it's oil, but lots and lots of people, lots and lots of people use thieves oil and uh, water for a lot of things. So um, there's, there's, if you, if you want to, if you Google um, thieves clean, thieves oil cleaners, there's lots of recipes out there for just using that. Recipe for laundry whitener. If you, if you, instead of using bleach to get your whites whiter, you can use some hydrogen peroxide in um, with lemon juice and lemon oil, some baking soda and some water. And um, you can use one cup, per load of that with hot water in your white. Like if you're bleaching, if you want to bleach something, like I like to use this on my tea towels and my kitchen 
or like my dishcloths um, to really get them um, clean because the peroxide and the baking soda um, help get that whitening going. Oh, thieves scrub. I gotta tell you a story about thieves scrub. So I hate cleaning the shower and I, oh, sorry, Pauline, yep. So the, I'll put the whitener one. Yes. If you put that in with colors, will it hurt colors? I would, I would, it depends, right? Yeah. Like um, if it's, if it's dishcloths with color, I'm not sure, I, I doubt it. If it's like a blouse with color, I would, I would try it on something that you don't care too much about and see. Okay. Like an old t-shirt or something, right? I just, yeah, because I'm just not really sure. Um, so back to Thieves Scrub. So I have my showers in this house are tile with grout. I hate tile and grout. I, it's just gross. So I make a Thieves Scrub and I bought a, um, a bristle brush a round bristle brush thing that fits on my drill, on my cordless drill. And I make up some of this thieves scrub. I slather the shower with it. And I take my drill with this, with this wildly wrapping bristle brush. And literally in three minutes, my entire shower is glistening. All the grout is clean. I don't work up a sweat. Um, it's a lovely thing because it's white tile with white grout and oh my God, in a shower, ugh. But this is so fast. You don't have to let it sit. You just go in there with the, with the drill and the scrub. It smells great and it's beautifully clean. I love it. That's I brilliant. So, I was so <laughs> proud of myself because it the first time I've ever gotten the shower that clean. <laughs> totally brilliant. <laughs> <sighs> Um, so that thieves scrub works like a hot dam. I love that for all kinds of things. Um, I clean my um, uh, flat top glass flat top stove with it. it shines it up oh. beautifully. Yeah, if there's something like stuck on it, I use a little bit of that scrub. Um, it's really nice for um, scrubbing a tub. Really also very nice for toilet bowls. Mm. You get a good scrub in the toilet bowl. Um, so it's got a lot of uses. It's really Can good. you interchange orange, the orange and lemon or oh, just oh yeah. any of the citrus oils, okay. any citrus thing. Um, lemon has the highest D limonene content, which is why they use it. But other oils have high D limonene in it as well, which is a chemical constituent of the oil. Um, and it's what differentiates citrus oils from other oils. Okay. Yeah, so you could you could use a combination. You could use citrus fresh, which has um, citrus fresh is peppermint, tangerine, lemon, and orange. So yeah, I have that. that. One. Would be lovely. Yeah, I think I have all three. Yeah, be gorgeous. I don't, I don't think I have lime. I think that's the only one I don't yeah. have. Yeah, um, heavy degreaser. So if you've got like a uh, grease issue um, when you're cleaning around your stove. After, you know, maybe you've done some frying or whatever, and you've got grease splatter, the heavy degreaser, it's just a stronger version of the dilution, you know, three capfuls to 16 ounces instead of one, it means you get more of the lemon um, and more of the, um, uh, the really strong um, spicy oils in there. And then what I have in every room is the all purpose cleaner, one capful of thieves household cleaner and 16 ounces of water. And oh my God, you use it for everything, everything. It's um, remarkable what you can use it for. So you have to put it in a glass bottle. <laughs> glass bottle. Um, yes, most important when you're adding the citrus. Um, but yes, I, I keep everything in glass bottles. Just then I don't. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm now going to be ordering those yeah. when I get off of this. Yeah. There's, um, I just get the brown bottles with the pump from Amazon. I got a box of six and gave one each to the kids and kept four of them in the house. Okay. Yeah. I need to get some glass ones too. <laughs> yeah. I only have plastic. Well, well it's, it's sitting in plastic right now. Yeah. Yes. It's because, well, it comes in plastic. It comes in food grade plastic. But it's in my plastic with water. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. For a while now. Yeah. 
It happens. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can also get some that have kind of a silicone covering over the glass so that um, you're not so worried about breaking the glass on your countertops. Oh, my internet connection is unstable. Hopefully we're okay. Huh, not just me. <laughs> I hope Jerry's not playing with it. Well, it's such a storm up here. I'm worried about it all over the place. So you both already know about how to get the best deal because you already got your um, wholesale purchasing uh, power. Yeah. And one of the best things, if you haven't gotten any fees cleaners yet, you can um, order them individually or you can order, there's an essential rewards thieves kit of a bunch of different ones and you get quite a discount on, on the essential rewards one. So you could order that one month if you wanted and that's how you get the cheapest per use uh, products. Um, and you've all got a bundle already so you don't need to know this information but um, there is a, a home bundle that people who haven't signed up yet can get into the wholesale pricing. Um, say they're not interested too much in the oils, they just want the cleaner. There's a Thieves um, premium starter kit that has everything in it to get people going. I have several people who have joined up that way. Mm -hmm. the thieves. Um, yeah. The nice thing about the Thieves Essential Rewards one though is that you get points back to spend on other stuff. So any, any questions? thoughts so the one you said was an essential rewards bundle yes yeah you can go into your monthly ordering and yep. um add like you can add it and then take out everything else that you ordered last month yeah the important part yeah i know <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> and it lasts and it lasts so long that um it's awesome okay yeah. And when you get your loyalty rewards yes. or, or whatever, how do you, you use them? Do they automatically get used or? Nope. So you can, so um, I've recently, I, when I did my little um, video, I had used a bunch of my rewards points. So I went on and I just went in and in my cart added a bunch of things that I wanted that I had, didn't have. And when you come to the, how are you going to pay for it page, there's a piece on the left hand side that shows what your loyalty rewards points are and which products you can use them against. Uh, so okay. you just click them and it will take it will it will take the price off based on how much how much you've got in your loyalty rewards. Okay. Yeah. Good. What about if you have a credit, a, a, a dollar credit, a dollar value credit? Yep. So even so at that same place where it has the ER points, it also will have the dollar credit and you can assign that as well. Okay. I've tried, but I have had problems. I'll try again. So what I would, what I would suggest is to call um, or go on the chat and have them apply, uh, apply that for you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the things, one of the things you might've had a problem with is you can't use ER points on your ER order. Oh. Yes. So that might be what it is. But what about the money? The money you should be able to use on your ER order. You should be able to use the, the um, actual cash on the, on the ER order, but you can't use ER points for an ER order. But I like to save them up and get oils that are that are like more expensive. Um, like the Neroli was like eighty four dollars, was a lot of money, but I didn't pay for it. And it is absolutely, oh my god, it's it's like walking into an orange orchard. It smells <laughs> like orange trees in bloom. So I save up and I and I buy things like that that are just extravagant but so beautiful. Good. So will you send us those recipes, Chris? I can I can definitely try, yes. That's fantastic. Beautiful. Yeah. And like I said, um, if you if you go on the um Facebook group and go to topics, um anything thieves, there's a thieves topic and there is probably it's either under thieves or DIY. Okay. There will be tons of recipes there too. Okay. 
but I will do um, uh, a couple of PDFs of the uh, of those two pages and send them to you. Great, then I can post them for hubby to yes. see. <laughs> Absolutely. That's great, thank you. Cool, well, we don't have any other questions. Thank you for joining me tonight. Check out, we, I have some really cool, really cool um, sessions coming up. So check out the events page and see. Um, I've been working like crazy on getting um, a variety of classes posted. So um, November is all about women in self-care. So excellent. Awesome. Perfect. All right. Well, okay, thank, thank you. you for joining me. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.